Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussions on functions. So for this video, I am going to talk about domain and range of functions. So we will go each of the three different representations of function. Diba sabi natin we can define or we can represent a function using a table, using a graph, and using a formula. Okay, so we will go through each of these representation and let us define their domain and range. But before we do that, let us uh, have a simple ano, definition of domain and range. The domain of a function is the set of possible input values to a function. Okay, ito yung mga pwede na input values natin to a function. And the range naman is the set of all possible output values of a function. Uh, so, domain, possible na input values. Yung range, possible na output values of a function. Okay, so how do we define the domain and range of a given function presented in a table? Okay, so here is an example. Uh, the table below is... Uh, table when sending a letter through the United States Postal Service the price depends upon the weight of the letter okay so weight not over 1 2 3 and 3.5 the price is 0 0.5 0 0.71 0 0.92 and 1.13 okay so what is the domain the domain what is our input what is our input quantity here? So our input quantity is the weight. Na? This is the weight of the letters sent through the United States Postal Service. Okay, so weight is a continuous quantity. Ibig sabihin nito, uh, hindi lang siya naka... Uh, strictly ano hindi siya strictly 1 2 3 3.5 it can be something like 1.2 1 1.3 1 1.4 1.5 anon okay so the domain is basically all uh, weight basta hindi siya lalagpas ng 3.5 pero syempre uh, hindi rin siya bababa ng 0 kasi uh, there is a weight ano merong naman weight yung domain natin. Okay, pwede bang kasali ang zero? Basically kapag zero yung weight, ano, di ba? Hindi ka na nagpadala nun ng letter, okay? So, ang ano natin, ang input value natin, the, the domain. Yung domain, ano? Gawin natin ito, weight. Okay? So, the domain of this table is uh Say, ang variable natin ay x. Okay? Our variable is x and the price is y. Okay? So, the domain is x should be x should be greater than 0. Tama? x should be greater than 0 but should be less than 3.5. Okay? Pwede bang 3.5? Weight not over. So, pwede 3.5. So, less than or equal to 3.5. Okay. So, kasali lahat ang mga numbers in between 0 and 3.5. Okay? How about the range? The range is definite. Ano? Itong 0 0.5, this is the output when our input is between 0 and 1. Okay? 0 and 1 ounce. So, 0 0.5 lahat yung price nyan. Okay? For weight of letters between 1 and 2, ito yung price, 0 0.71. For letters between 2 and 3, 0 0.92. For letters between 3 and 3.5, 1.13 naman yung price. Okay, so definitely, ang ating mga input values ay uh, set ito. No? So, ilista natin yung 0 0.5, 0 0.71. 
and 1.13 okay so itong output value natin is not a continuous data okay so ganyan lang siya okay so uh, that's it for the domain and range using a table uh, itong example natin ito hindi naman siya uh, applicable ano sa lahat ng given tables so nasa context pa rin ng table kung paano nyo uh, titignan or kung paano nyo isosolve yung domain and range okay so basically you need to understand what is the table all about kapag given sa inyo yung table and from there you have to uh, look at the input value and the output value and then you can define the domain and the range okay so that's it for the domain and range of a function presented in a table